Before removing the tub, shut off the water supply. If your bathroom doesn't have a separate cutoff valve, you'll need to turn off the water to the entire house. Open a valve at a lower level in your home to relieve any remaining pressure in the lines. Tub drains will have different components that first need to be removed. This one has a stopper that unscrews providing access to the drain flange at the bottom of the tub. The flange itself will need to be unscrewed using a tool designed for tub drain removal. Now, use the screwdriver to disconnect and remove the waste and overflow valve cover on the side of the tub. It's also important to remove the tub spout since this will be on a portion of the wall you'll be cutting away. Some spouts have a set screw that holds them in place. If you don't find one, your spout should just twist off by turning it counterclockwise. To disconnect the drain, you'll need to get access to the underside of the tub, either from behind the wall or through the ceiling below the bathroom. Use a pair of channel lock pliers to disconnect the pipes below the T where the drain and overflow valve meet. If your fittings are galvanized steel, you may need a penetrating lubricant like PB Blaster to loosen the joints. Once you've loosened the nut connecting the drain pipe, unscrew it the rest of the way by hand and lift out the entire section. You'll need a helper for these next few steps. One of you will lift up the front edge of the tub, while another slides a couple of 1x4s underneath it to get it off the floor. Slide the tub out of the alcove using the 1x4s as skids. Finally, remove any stringer supports left on the wall. With the alcove now exposed, clean the area and remove any nails or debris that's left over. How you dispose of the old tub will depend upon the type it is. Cast iron tubs should be broken up with a sledgehammer. Because of the sheer weight, you'll want to do this in the bathroom so you can remove it in sections. And because the pieces can be sharp, you'll need to wear ear and eye protection at a minimum. All other types of material are relatively light, and the tub can be removed whole with a little help. Steel, composite, or fiberglass tubs can be cut up with a reciprocating saw. Porcelain over steel tubs should be disposed of whole. Check with your local sanitation company for specific details on disposing of your tub. Additional fees or restrictions may be involved.